Now, opportunity sampling is all about making it easy on myself. So, people who will stand um, in the middle of a street uh, with a clipboard, um, in the majority of cases, they are just trying to gain responses quickly. Um, if, for example, uh, I wanted to find out uh, from my class, for example, um, what they thought about a new style of homework, then I could just go ahead and ask my class. And that would be uh, the opportunity sampling because, well, they're my class, they're close to me, I don't need to go very far, and I can get a very uh, quick idea of uh, the situation. Now, it might sound like um, the quota sampling that I went through a moment ago uh, sounds very similar to this. The only difference is that the quota sampling was all about I had a quota to fill, and so I had to fill up my quota before I could finish the sample. But now, uh, if I'm waiting on a street corner with a clipboard and just going through uh, a questionnaire, and I just need 30 people, then it's the first 30 people who want to take part in the questionnaire. Okay? Now, you may find that's not to say that all people who do those questionnaires, uh, who uh, they're collecting responses, are just looking for random people. Because sometimes they'll go through a series of questions with you first, just to see if you are the type of person that they want to interview. Okay? So in a lot of cases, they are actually doing quota sampling. But the opportunity sampling is all about just being there at that time. And so disadvantage-wise, um, anybody that uh, doesn't want to take part in the sample who, or who isn't asked uh, has no opportunity to have their voice heard. Uh, so it can be very biased, and that needs to be taken into account.